now you should should see the presentation. So I'll be talking about this idea of dynamic environments and a little bit on one hand my personal journey towards this kind of thinking and also the journey that our uh, design company and various spin-offs spin have taken over the years. Now in 1998 I was about 23 years old and I had a invitation to attend a lighting workshop. It was organized by a uh, a group called Elder European Light Designers Association at the time, and um, you have it in Germany in Völkling and Ironworks, and this is a picture of the kind of thing that we were doing there. Now, whilst it was very inspiring and interesting, what inspired me far more in the end was um, the adjacent actually functioning ironworks, and it was this kind of environment, this was the experience, the it was explosive, it was full of color, it was full of light. Um, and me as a, as a young graduate from, from lighting design and from art school, I was, I was truly moved by this. I, I thought this, this is a dynamic environment. This is um, how urban environment could be. So what does it actually then mean when you, when you start introducing movement of light into the space? Now this got us really excited and we started exploring it further and we took this idea of natural movement into the picture so we did a lot of testing and playing around and started to create this sort of ideas where we would we would combine the natural light the real daylight or the real sunlight with some kind of a highly abstracted artificial light projection so that in one hand, you sort of fool the person uh, first you think this is possibly coming from the natural light or or through, through, through a glazing or reflection, and then very, very quickly you realize that it's not, um, which then immediately creates a tension. Once you have a tension, you have a, a tension. So it becomes a focal point. When you have a focal point, that creates a memory. So it enters the mind in a very different level. Um, and that was pretty interesting. A lot of things on that note started uh, from a research program called Towards Digital Paradise. Now, this is a uh, one of Horizon 2020... Uh, programs. Uh, it's a primarily Finnish consortium, um, which explores things like uh, nearables and sort of digital futures. And our part of that was uh, this. It was it was called ambient communication, and this is an ongoing research at the moment. So, um, ambient communication is essentially try to distill quite a lot of those kinds of examples that you just saw, and in some way represents the culmination of this sort of idea of going towards a dynamic environment because dynamic environment when it's done well in my opinion it is subtle it helps you and it communicates with you